haven't been around or are new um, and I'm actually doing this as a special video for somebody who wants to learn how to do uh, SL screen capture and so one of the cool things I'm doing is I'm actually doing this during my downtime right before our fabulous um, event at Drama Libre um, hugs to Peaches and Xerxes and Ronaldo and Dagmar and Kathy for putting all this time and of course the fabulous DJs there um, which are, of course, uh, Grigor and um, Iron Man and, of course, Danica and Magda. I mean, all of these wonderful people who put this event together. Um, they do a great job every week. But anyway, uh, one of the things I wanted to do was talk to, talk to you guys because I thought this would be a great time to walk you through what it takes to create um, a machinima in SL. Now, as you guys can see, I'm um, fully dressed. Um, I have a screen capture application and that is called OBS, but for purposes of this demonstration, because the person who I'm, I'm walking through is new, I'm going to walk them through one of the, one of the f applications that I started using when I first started because it was really awesome. So let me go ahead and pause this for a minute and then I'll get that set up for you guys. All right, guys, now that we've gotten, uh, set up. I'm going to go ahead and show you the best tool that I used when I first started out. And one of my favorite tools that came in really handy when I started out doing video in uh, SL was called Screen Rec. And as you can see, this is the app. It is completely free. It comes in a free version that's full for Windows and Linux and it's really handy. You just download it. You don't really have to do much work on it. Um, one of the things that that um, it comes in really handy is it can help you screen capture. So what you do is you just create your window and drag it. But let's go ahead and walk through what this looks like. Okay guys. So you can see you can get it free. Let's go ahead and take a peek at what that looks like on your screen once you actually have it installed okay now display capture as you can imagine can be done in a lot of ways but in this particular case let's go ahead and set it up so you guys can fully see my entire window there you go see that's the entire window all right and as you can see um, you see all of my little things that are open, who I'm talking to. Screen Rec is this lovely little, and you can even see my mouse. You can see my mouse here. Um, that little pin lets you move it from one, from one part of the keyboard to the other. So, like, let's say I, I don't like it here. I can move it up here. Or I can move it down here. So, but I actually like it on the side. The other cool thing about Screen Rec is it takes screenshots. This is the icon that's highlighted for video. This is your gallery. Now the cool thing about your gallery is it shows your recording history. So if you click on it, and you see I did several recordings. This was a cool seminar that I went to that I'm going to actually delete shortly. But this cool video, you can get a shareable link and then anybody can see it. So let's go ahead and take a little preview of that, see? And that is a video I took last week using Screen Rec, see? And I actually shared it with a couple of friends. And what I'm trying to do is see that avatar that you see right here? I'm actually creating that avatar to share with friends. As you can see, it's very cute. Um, we're going to do a special performance with this avatar, so... <laughs> That's one of my side projects that I'm working on. Something that you'll uh, want to end up using also is you want to check the settings. Now the settings here are really simple. Um, here I have it selected for Realtek Audio, but I actually have a USB mic, which is my toner mic, which was 33, it was like about 30 bucks. Um, notice that it's not, it is picking up my voice, but it has a slash on that. Also. If you because we're not using the integrated webcam and we're doing screen capture, you you want to have this crossed out. All right. If you want them to record system audio, it's real simple. You just click on. 
the record quality as standard definition, high definition, and 4K. Because these, uh, this laptop is set up for high def and standard def, it makes no sense to go all the way 4K. Just silly. Now, for me, in this case, if I were to, de to click on this, it would start recording my microphone input. But it's not necessary. This is for purposes of demo. Now, cre keep in mind what you do is you can you create your own account. You everybody has a, f a pro plan. There's a free grace period. There's no watermark. It's for personal and commercial use. You private share links, unlimited recordings. I actually really like this app, mostly because of all the all the all the options you have, and it, it's just really user friendly. When you're doing a video, it's super fun. Um, you just have to make sure that when you're doing a video and you're recording audio, you make sure you select the, 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 the audio. You either make sure that that's on, or if you're gonna be doing voice and doing voice over, you go ahead and you click that so that it's not crossed out. Okay. So these are the settings in Screen Rec, but I, it's a really nice app. It's really friendly to use, and it works really well, especially when you're just doing, like I'm in a low lag area right now, so it's really, really friendly. It's really easy to use. As you can see, it gets, a, it gets the image really nicely. It's the capture really nicely. All right, now if you wanna do an actual video using Screen Rec, what you do is you click on the camera, right and see so you notice all of a sudden things have changed just a little bit so what you do is you you're gonna get your mouse is gonna turn into an X you don't see this right now but you drag it across create a frame your frame will be telling you what size it is in the lower right hand corner once you release it all of a sudden there you see there's the frame and it's it's like 1172 by 700 something and it's actually recording now here it's not recording voice if I wanted to change that I could do that see I could record my own voice if I wanted to just as an experiment of course we're not using the integrated webcam so we're not gonna mess with that and we don't actually have an integrated webcam other than the one that's in my laptop so it's only gonna pick up you know my laptop. It's not going to see much else. When you want to stop filming, all you do is press, press that square button right there. Click on it once and it stops. And then here, it's uploading your file. It's saving it somewhere on your hard drive, but it's also uploading it and then you have a link. It's going to go, okay, so let's go ahead and click the open link. I want you guys to see that screen capture. There it is, right? Okay. Click on it. And you can see that it recorded everything. If I wanted to change that, I could do that. See? I could record my own voice if I wanted to, just as an experiment. Of course, we're not using the integrated webcam, so we're not going to mess with that. And we don't actually have an integrated webcam other than the one that's in my laptop. So it's only going to pick up, you know, my laptop. It's not going to see much else. When you want to stop filming, all you do is press, press that square button right there. Click on it one. The, there you go. That's an example of one of the file tapes. Now, of course, I'm, I can go into my gallery at any point. Ta-da! And should I want to delete that, I can share the link, I can delete it, I can look at a preview. Whichever one I want. And actually, let me... I want to delete this one. Because I've already used that a long time ago. There was a huge gotcha Easter sale. Alright, and let's go ahead and delete that file now the cool part is all of that stuff was deleted and so you don't have to worry about it any longer it, it, 
it was on my hard drive in one spot and you can I can always show you where that is but for now since we're just getting early early stages I wanted to walk you through uh, the basics of of this particular app. It's a really cool little handy app, like I said. Um, and you guys already saw what um, it can do. Um, if you have any questions, of course, feel free to send me a message. Um, I'm sending a private link and putting all this together into one, mid one little video. Hopefully it won't be too complicated for you. Downloading is pretty easy. Installing is pretty easy. The key part is you want to make sure that SL is open first. And like I said, when you start this, what you want to do is you want to click on the camera button. It will turn into an X and then you'll create a screen. Then you'll create a screen size that you're comfortable with. Let go of it. And then it starts immediately capturing everything in that frame super simple so um, if you're really comfortable with the frame size that you like like 1920 1080 you can go by that or if you like a smaller version the standard version in YouTube these days is 720 so if you uh, it usually is a 4 by 3 and the 720 I have to fi figure out what the frame rates are but I can actually show you what those are so that you'll be able to put that together but it comes in really handy. Um, you won't necessarily have all these menu bars like I have on this display capture. I actually made sure you got to see my entire frame on purpose so that you could see every tool that I was using. However, um, in, a for, in another uh, series of videos, I'm probably going to go through OBS and how to use OBS for screen capture and how to like uh, get stronger stream captures from your computer for now i did not as as you know i didn't go over any of the settings i have graphically or anything in part because i you know when you're first starting out that can get so complicated up front it's much easier to play with um the screen capture app first get to know it get comfortable with it and then once you start feeling more comfortable with it then you start looking at what your computer can handle as far as graphics are concerned so that you can get the best images and video moving forward but for you know as a start off point the key part is getting your app ready playing with screen capture seeing what you want to do as far as audio video uh, if you want to do voiceover if you don't want to do voiceover if you want to do music how to add that in there's little things to do to play just before you get really comfy so it's all good all right well that's all i've got for you guys uh next video of course um i'll base on the, the questions i get and that's about it